In today's video, I'm getting the chance to unbox the new Fitbit Versa 4. Let's do it. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I've unboxed all sorts of Fitbit products including the newest Sense 2, Inspire 3, and today we're going to check out the Versa 4. So let's take a look at what we have on the box. So this uh, is the Versa 4 fitness watch and you'll notice that it's Fitbit but it's by Google because of course Google owns Fitbit. And we kind of see on the side here that the uh, Versa 4 includes six months of Fitbit Premium membership. And Fitbit Premium gives you uh, some extra goodies aside from not having the membership. Basically more information on your health stats and access to workouts and other fun things you can do uh, with the watch and the Fitbit app. Uh, it says here it gives you better results from every workout routine. And if we jump to this side, so I'm gonna be unboxing the graphite aluminum case uh, and black infinity band. Uh, this is gonna include the small and large size bands. So without uh, further ado, let's jump into unboxing this. So on the bottom of the box, there is this little tab to pull. I just gotta get my finger under it, there we go. And let's just slide this out. Very nice. Ooh, you can see the Fitbit logo on the box. Okay, let's open this up. And, ooh, look at that. So this is the Versa 4. Let's start off on the left. So this is our band. You can kind of see uh, the band design. So we'll take a closer look at this in just a minute. Let's get to pulling the watch out. Just kind of pops out of the box. And we have the, uh, the tab there to pull to take off the protective covering for the screen. Let's see if we can just pull that off. So let's take a closer look at the Versa 4. You can see on this left side we've got a physical button. This looks very similar, if not identical, to the Sense 2 that I just unboxed. Um, on this side we don't have any physical buttons whatsoever. Um, you'll notice the casing uh, that we have going around the screen, and the screen kind of bends or curves into the case. Very, very slick looking, very modern looking watch. You'll notice this has the standard silicone band that folds underneath one side. Let's, uh, let's unclasp this. So you'll see how that opens up. We can see the different sensor design. Now this is different from the Sense 2, which had uh, much more, uh, I would say, metal on the back as far as sensors. This has a simpler setup for the sensor design on the Versa 4. And we can see down here on the bottom these different symbols showing that it does have a built-in microphone. Uh, it will uh, track your distance using the built-in GPS and it is waterproof down to 50 meters. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. Tinker is our little hidden robot who looks just like this guy on my shirt. He's gonna briefly pop up somewhere during this video. So if you happen to spot Tinker popping up during this video, be the first person to correctly give me the timestamp. That is the amount of time into this video that you spotted Tinker popping up. And if you're that first person, we will put your name on our Tinker Ford Hall of Fame page, as well as give you a shout out in one of our future videos, just like BR Bun Bun, one of our recent viewers to find Tinker in one of our recent videos. So one thing I've always liked about the uh, Fitbit watches is the quick release for the bands. So on the back, uh, if you want to change out the band so that you want a larger or smaller size, there are these plastic clips, which to me it's much easier with my fat fingers to detach these than using the small metal pins that are on a lot of other watches. You can simply just get underneath that button and go ahead and push it and then that allows you to eject or uh, remove the band that you want to get rid of. 
and then you can go ahead and insert your other band. So here you can see the larger band. I have the smaller band on uh, to push this one in. Usually it's easiest to just get a corner of it going inside the actual watch unit itself. And then you kind of feed in the other corner. You'll actually hear a click when you push it in and you can tug on it so that it's not going to come out. It is a very secure, uh, it is a very secure connection. And uh, from that point, I can put it on my wrist. So the Versa 4 comes with whatever color band you order the model with. Um, there are different bodies as well. So this one I'm showing you is the black graphite aluminum. You can also get the Versa 4 in the waterfall blue platinum aluminum. You can get it in the pink sand copper rose aluminum, or you can get it in the beet juice copper rose aluminum styles. Now they're all gonna come with this standard band that as I was showing you earlier, kind of flaps underneath. So it, it'll go into the band like that. You'll find which one of these holes is gonna best size your wrist and then fold this other part under. All the standard bands are gonna do that same thing. So in addition to the standard silicone bands that come with the Versa 4, you can buy other accessories such as leather bands, uh, sports bands. This sport band was actually sent to me free by Fitbit, included with the pre-orders. If you were pre-ordering the Versa 4 before it came out, I don't think they're running that deal anymore. But I did wanna show you what the sports band looks like. This is the Sapphire Fog Gray and they have like seven different color options of sports bands that you can order. Let's pop this out. Oh, look at that. That is fun. So you'll notice the difference in design between the standard band and the sports band. The sports band has all these extra holes in it, allowing your wristband to breathe a little bit better. It's also got a different color design underneath it, whereas the standard silicone band does not. Uh, definitely giving a different look, more of a sportier look to your watch. So I'm interested to check out how this is gonna look on my wrist. Uh, I'm gonna pop off the existing wristband. And if you ever wanted to see the, uh, say, Versa 4 without any bands on it, this is what you are left with after popping everything off. Let's go ahead and pop the other band on. So this is what it's gonna look like with the sports band on. And let's pop it on my wrist. So here you go, here's a good example uh, showing you what the band is gonna look like on my wrist. So I have seven inch wrists and you can see how it fits. Very lightweight on my wrist and I like the style and way it looks. So something else to note about the sports band, uh, the band itself does not go underneath. It has more of a traditional watch uh, band clasp and then it's got the strap going over to hold any of the extra band going around your wrist. And here we are back to the traditional silicone band wearing it on my wrist. Just kind of showing you an example of what it looks like. Uh, both wristbands, very comfortable. I will say the sports band, I can, it, it feels almost uh, lighter. It feels like a puffier band than the silicone band. So I know uh, my wife will say sometimes these regular silicone bands can be uh, a little irritating on her skin. Um, I find that that sports band has a different feel to it. And something else quick to note, on the regular band that comes with the watch, you actually get a little bit or a little Fitbit logo, whereas on the accessories like the sports band, no signs anywhere of a Fitbit logo. And real quick, take a second and smash that like button if you're liking the Versa 4 or if you're getting some sort of value out of checking out this video. So jumping back to the box, let's check out the power, the charging cable. This just kind of pops up and let's pull this out. I like how they don't just throw everything in the box. There's a whole process, this slides out. And then we've got our charger and you would think you could just pull this tab on the side, but it, it doesn't let you. There's actually another part, part to uh, rip off. And that actually opens it up, giving you access to the charger. 
So here is the included charger. Again, I believe it's identical or the same charger as what comes with the Sense 2. The uh, charging cable itself, I would guesstimate to be about two feet, just under two feet in length. And so one end has the USB port, uh, so you can plug it into the side of your computer. You, there's no included plug, so you will need to use your own USB charging plug. Uh, and then we have the magnetic charging end. We'll show you how to charge. When I was unboxing the Sense 2, I learned that the charger only goes on one way. So if you try to put it on from the left, it doesn't stick. But if you do put it on from the right side, it magnetically adheres right onto the watch. And just kind of showing you uh, from the back how this is gonna charge. So you just take that, you'll notice it just snaps right on. So with the charger attached to the watch, I've got my plug for the USB. I'm gonna plug this in and you'll notice that the screen immediately lights up and it's gonna begin charging. So I'm gonna let this battery charge up a little bit. And while we're waiting for the battery to charge, let's finish going through the packaging. So under each one of these flaps, we have some information. So over on the left, you get this quick start guide and the instructions are to basically download the Fitbit app, charge to 100% and then sync with the app. And if you have any issues, you can contact Fitbit. Uh, you can learn more about the Versa 4 by going to help.fitbit.com forward slash Versa 4. You also get the included product information guide, which if I had to guess is probably in about a thousand languages. Underneath this flap on the left, uh, you'll see welcome to the Fitbit family. It's like they give you a personal little uh, welcome letter. And if you have questions, you can go to this address here to get more help from Fitbit. And then over on the right side, if you are new to Fitbit, if this is your first Fitbit device, uh, you can go to fitbit.com forward slash devices uh, to download the app and create an account. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do that coming up next. So you're gonna need the Fitbit app installed on your device. If you don't already have it, go to your Google Play Store or your Apple Store, uh, and you're gonna search for Fitbit. Go ahead and download that free app. You are gonna need to create an account, so just follow the prompts in there to sign up for a free account. And once you're at that point, we're gonna open up the app. Here's gonna be an example of inside your Fitbit app. Now, if you weren't able to use the quick setup, uh, that screen where it just said touch to set up for the Versa 4. Essentially, when you're in the Fitbit app and you've created your account, you can go to this upper left where the profile icon is and tap on that. And then from this menu, if you uh, kind of go to the middle, you'll see here set up a device. And I've got the Versa 4 set up because I just did that, but essentially you would go into here and then it's gonna ask you what device are you setting up? You'll find the Versa 4 tap on that and then continue following the prompts that I'm gonna show you next. So I'm on a Google Pixel phone and any Android device, there is this quick setup that pops up. You'll see here, as soon as I uh, powered on the Versa 4, uh, since it was already found by my device, it actually takes me right into this menu here where it says Fitbit Versa 4, tap to set up this device. So I can go ahead and just tap on setup and this is going to take me right into the Fitbit app. Uh, from this point, it's telling me here to replace with new device. I uh, recently had the Inspire 3 connected onto my phone. And yes, I do want to replace it with the Versa 4. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that button. And then it's gonna have me go through all the privacy information, which I'm just going to uh, accept. And then it is telling me to let the Versa 4 charge. Uh, so connect it to the charging cable. Uh, it is currently charging, so I'm gonna keep powering through the install or sync process. So the phone did find my Versa 4, and so it sends a unique pairing code to your device, and those numbers I'm gonna type into my phone to pair it up. And from this point, it is trying to pair, so it's actually giving me a pairing request with the Versa 4. Uh, and I actually missed that because uh, I didn't tap it fast enough. So if you happen to miss the pairing request like I did, if you just wait till it times out, it will give you a try again button. So we're gonna go ahead and try that again. This time I'm going to allow it access to my contacts and call history and we're gonna go ahead and pair it. It's gonna continue with the pairing process. So we have here allow Fitbit to access your Versa 4. We're gonna say allow. 
And then from this point, it's offering me the Fitbit protection plan. I'm going to decline that right now. And then it's telling me that it's going to need to update my Versa 4. A new software update's required and it might take up to 20 minutes to install. Uh, make sure to keep your Versa 4 charging and near your phone until the update is done. So we're gonna go ahead and update the software. So while the update is happening, I have the downloading icon and I can kind of see the status of how the download is doing for the update. We're gonna leave this off to the side. So while this is downloading, you can see the progress at the top of the screen. We can meet our Versa 4. So it says your advanced fitness and activity. Uh, you can get things like your daily readiness score. Now that is something that's gonna be available with Fitbit Premium. Now, if you're buying the Versa 4, you do get the six months of Fitbit Premium included. They want you to get used to using these fun features in hopes that you'll subscribe to Premium in the future. Uh, the daily re readiness score. So it says you're optimize your workout routine with a score that reveals if you're ready to exercise or if you should focus on recovery. You'll get a personalized activity goal for the day plus recommended workouts or recovery sessions based on your score. Uh, you can earn active zone minutes. Now, active zone minutes have been around with Fitbit for quite a while, but you earn those minutes uh, from the time spent in fat burn, cardio, and peak heart rate zones. Uh, let's see here, it also has built-in GPS. Uh, so you can leave your phone at home, go for a run or a walk, and uh, the watch is gonna record your location without needing to have your phone with you. You also get 40 plus exercise mode, so you can track more exercises than ever. Everything from strength training and HIT to running and stand-up paddle boarding right from your Versa 4. So it also has the tools for health. You can keep track of your heart with tools on your device and in the Fitbit app. So you get high and low heart rate notifications. You'll get notified when your heart rate is above or below your thresholds when you appear to be inactive for at least 10 minutes. It does do 24 seven heart rate tracking. It says you get better calorie data and optimize your workouts with our pure pulse technology. We also have the advanced sleep tools. So with premium, it builds a sleep profile where you get insight into your long-term sleeping habits. With your monthly sleep profile, you receive a monthly breakdown of your sleep with key metrics paired with the sleep animal that most closely reflects your sleep patterns. It's also gonna show you your sleep stages and give you a sleep score. Uh, so you can see how well you sleep at night. And then with premium, you'll see a breakdown of your sleep stages and you'll learn what else could be affecting your sleep. And it also features smart wake. So you can wake up feeling more rested and refreshed with an alarm that wakes you during the optimal stage of sleep no more than 30 minutes before it's set time. It also has stress management tools so you can get a handle on your stress you've got a higher score, you're showing fewer signs of stress, lower score, time to find a better balance. Try meditating or going for a walk. Uh, it also has reflections so you can log your stress levels each day and you can relax with the mindfulness content. Uh, find those much needed moments of calm with guided mindfulness sessions in the Fitbit app. You can also see all of your health metrics in the uh, Fitbit app. Uh, things like your SpO2 tracking. So uh, it doesn't do on-the-fly SpO tracking. SpO2 tracking, it'll do it uh, when you wear the watch to bed. Uh, but the tracking SpO2 tells how much oxygen is distributed into your body, which can help you understand if there are changes in your wellness. It's also going to track your skin temperature, track nightly skin, skin temperature variation to spot changes from your baseline. They could be related to environmental or wellness changes. It's going to monitor your breathing rate and look out for even small changes in your breathing rate from night to night. Uh, heart rate variability, the time between heartbeats. If you notice a downward trend over multiple nights, your body may need more rest and recovery. And it's also gonna log your resting heart rate. And then it also goes into smart experiences. So you can change the different clock faces or the look of the main screen or the dashboard or the clock on your Fitbit using the Fitbit Gallery. It does have voice assistant in the Fitbit Gallery, so you can use Amazon Alexa 
give it uh, commands and it's going to follow through with those. This new Fitbit system uses tiles, which is something new to Fitbit. Uh, and tiles are in the Fitbit gallery. You can manage the preview screens for each feature that appears on the carousel. You can also run apps in the Fitbit gallery. There's a variety of apps for health, fitness, and everyday needs. You can get notifications. Uh, choose which notifications to receive on your device. You can also use the device to pay for things using the contactless payments in Fitbit Pay. Uh, and it's also got the Find My Phone feature. If you are somebody like me that leaves their phone in the couch or places where you can't always seem to find it, you can use the watch to find your phone. And then we have data syncing. So you want to make sure your Bluetooth is turned on on your device and that it's nearby. Keep the Fitbit app open. And if you ever want to refresh the data on your Fitbit app, like if you notice the amount of steps you've taken on your watch is different than what's reflected in your Fitbit app, you can just go to the dashboard in the Fitbit app and pull down from the screen for a quick refresh and that's going to sync the app up to your watch. So it indicates that the Versa 4 is updated. I don't think it took quite 20 minutes, just a little bit underneath that. So we're going to hit continue. From this point, I need to set up the voice uh, privacy. Of course, I guess I still have more setup to do, so you could add this to the amount of time as well. Uh, Versa 4 has the built-in microphone to power voice features, and the microphone's only going to be on when you're using a voice feature. And you can always disable it uh, entirely for all voice features in the settings, so we're going to set that up. It works with Amazon Alexa, so you are going to need to have an Amazon uh, account or an Amazon Alexa account in order to use that, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the process. Uh, from this point, it's going to have me log in to my Amazon Alexa account. After entering in that information of my Amazon account, Fitbit would like to access my Alexa voice services and Alexa account connection. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow. Then it's going to ask if it can use my location. I'm going to let it use my location. And then it's giving me some examples here of things you can say to Alexa on your watch, such as set a timer for 20 minutes, set an alarm, I can ask it if it's going to rain today, how much protein is in an egg, and uh, I can even have it start a run with Fitbit. And you can go into your settings and you can actually program what the left button is going to do as a shortcut. And that would be, you can set it to Alexa if you want. So if you push that left button, that's how you would wake up Alexa. And then it's going to go through some uh, simple steps here, swiping down for common watch settings and modes. Uh, if you swipe up, you'll see your different notifications. Swipe left, and that's going to give you a glance at all of your uh, Fitbit Today stats. And then you can press the side button uh, to see all the different apps that are going to be on your watch. So different from just pressing that left button, if you hold it down, that's going to give you access uh, to things like Amazon Alexa. And then we are set to go. So with the Versa 4 up and running, I want to show you guys uh, just a quick overview, kind of a tease of everything that... Uh, kind of shows up with the new Fitbit interface. So here is our clock face. Uh, you can change this in the Fitbit app by going to the galleries to kind of change uh, what design you like. You can see the current stat information it's giving me. I've been wearing it for a couple of minutes now, went for a quick walk. You can see it's giving me my heart rate, my active zone minutes for the day. There's no information for the sleep because I haven't worn it to bed overnight. It's not going to give you any of that sleep information. This uses a new tile system. So when I swipe to the left, this is showing me my current steps. And you'll note that it's giving me the current time at the top. I can swipe again and I can see all of today's activity so far. So active zone minutes the amount of steps I've taken, calories burned, distance I've gone, and the amount of uh, stairs that I've done. So if we keep swiping to the left, this is heart rate information and even gives you a kind of a graph showing you how you've been doing throughout the day. It's monitoring my current heart rate as well as giving my resting heart rate from when I was not as active as I have been. Swiping to the left again would reveal your sleep information. Again, you wear the watch to bed and then uh, the next day it'll give you sleep information showing you your different sleep stages and giving you a sleep score. 
And then uh, we have different timers. There's a stopwatch and countdown. So you can do quick timers for five or 10 minutes. You can start a new one going into the settings here for timers. Um, so you can do the stopwatch if you want and just go ahead and start it. When you swipe to the right, that's gonna take you back a menu. If I swiped again, that would take me back a menu. I'm gonna keep going to the left. Here's exercises, so you can start uh, quick shortcut exercises like walking, running, biking, or you can go to all and see all the different exercises available. You can also edit those shortcuts so you can take whatever your most popular exercises are and actually uh, you know, make those your shortcuts. There's also, there's like 40 plus exercises to go through. Swiping again reveals the weather for uh, whatever location you are at using your device's location. And then we are back to our main screen. Now you can see your notifications by swiping up and you'll notice I've got some emails here. I can actually tap on one of these emails to read it. And then as I go to the bottom, I can archive it or I can actually open it on my phone. And then lastly, if you wanna change any of the settings on your watch, you can swipe down from the top and you've got quick shortcuts to go into settings, turn on sleep mode, do not disturb mode, turn on your always on display if you want, you can change your brightness, and it also reveals your battery information. So there's a quick look at the Versa 4. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button notification bell as I am going to be doing more tutorials on all the Fitbit devices. If you want to see what the Sense 2 unboxing looked like or the Inspire 3 fitness tracker that Fitbit has released, um, those are also going to be linked down in this video description and they're also on my channel. So my name is Jeff and as always I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you in the next video.